Hey, it's James from Freelance School, and on today's video, we're doing some fault finding. Woohoo! It's half 11 at night, and we've got a call out, so we're going to see what's going on. So, apparently, it's tripping out, so let's see what's, what's causing it to trip. <laughs> Right, so into the property now then. So here is the fuse board that's been tripping out. So you've got your main RCD unit that's been tripping out. So it looks like these circuits here uh, run through this one and this, these circuits here run through that one. I should mention that this one's been tripping out. So it's a B40, so it's most likely gonna be the shower circuit for that one. So it could be that there's multiple faults, something like, like Dracula. <laughs> but yeah, what we'll do is um, test all the circuits and make sure that uh, we're getting readings that won't trip an RCD, so I'll show you how to do that. First things first then, we'll just get the tester out then. So what we really want to be doing is testing, like, like nothing should be connected to earth essentially. So what we're going to be doing is uh, make sure the RCD is not going to affect the circuit and test from line to earth and neutral to earth um, and then line to neutral and make sure we've got some normal uh, resistance readings for the circuit. And Basically, if you get more than two mega ohm for, for line and earth and neutral and earth, then it should work and it should turn on. So let's see, let's test it out and see what we can find. Right, so the time is, there we go, 11.44. Let's see how long it'll take us to find this fault. Straight away, we've got some dodges. So we go. Obviously copper bar here, and we've also run out of copper bar. So the one to do is just link it out with the doorbell with a bit of 10 mil, 10 mil copper here. Yeah. Yeah. So the circuits we're gonna inspect, we'll test everything, but mainly this one's tripped. So one, two, three, four. So it's these four, so it looks like B6 will be lighting, some sort of lighting, B10 lighting again, 32 amp with a radial in. So you can see that each side of the ring there, and then another <coughs> ring. So we've got two rings, two light circuits to investigate, really. And then what we'll just test this as well, which should probably be the shower. So if we turn it on, it's not tripping straight away, so it could be something that was plugged in, and they've unplugged it, so we'll investigate into that. And what we're going to do is just do line to <coughs> earth, neutral to earth, but we'll have to disconnect the lines out and the neutrals out to, to do that. Alright, set us tester then to insulation resistance, I'm just banging 100, 100 volts, <coughs> so that's to earth. <coughs> so with the MCBs off and, just, and the RCD off, it just means that these are connected together by the bus bar. So with these off, we can test to the outgoing side. Bear in mind, there's a that's main switch, that's non-RCD protected. So I'm going to test on this one. You normally disconnect the neutral, <coughs> see if that was interfering. So we get 0.9, 0.94 for that one. Greater than uh, 100, so that, that one's actually fine. That one, so let me just uh, turn that on. Obviously, it won't come on because that's I'll put 9.4, and then this one is greater than 100. So these two are fine. So the issue areas we're going to look into really this one and this one. So we're going to disconnect the neutral and the other neutral, so the light and neutral and the socket's neutral and then just dive in a little bit deeper. So I've just disconnected that out, it's labelled up the doorbell, so 0.96 we're getting, so anything over 2 meg it's not going to trip. 0.96 is quite, quite high. So then we've got the neutral, 0.93, and then we'll do the line. We're getting 0.95, so let's just leave that out for a sec. And we'll move on <coughs> to the sockets. So let's test again then, so we'll do the neutral to earth. Greater than 100 on that one. Greater than 100 on that one. Greater than 100 on that one. So it's, it's testing fine. So let's do it to the neutral bar then. That's where it. Yep, yeah, greater than 100. And we'll go to the, the lines and it banged in this great area. Right there, fine. Let's just do it to everything else then. Fine. Fine. And then it's 
just this this one level the doorbell. It could do the lights as well. Again, one mega room. <coughs> Still decent to be fair. Let's investigate a bit more into it. So we're testing the other side now then. So it's gonna work away as long as we're along in here then. So three meg. Uh, three meg. Three meg. So obviously if the neutral's connected it's gonna kind of share that lowest reading. 1.55. It's like an inductive load, let's have a look. 1.54, 3 meg, and 3 meg again. So these these are well over 2, 3 meg. So I'm happy that these when they turn on is going to be fine. We can even do it to the neutral bar for that one. Just testing everything basically. Yeah, above 3 meg. So I'm happy with that then. So the only issue really, apparently, is this cable here. When well, it's all dead basically. But there we go. So even with the power off then. I've disconnected the neutral to earth link, you know, when neutral and earth are combined in the TNCS, uh, that can somehow, this, that can also give us bad readings, so. Right then, so, <laughs> looks like his only issue one is that one labelled, um, what is it? Oh no, it goes alarm, um, smoke alarm, it's labelled doorbell there, but it's not doorbell, it's actually lights down. Uh, so we'll have to investigate into lights down, but it probably does the doorbell as well. So before I put these sockets back in, what I want to do is the, the unplugged loads of stuff they said. So I don't want them plugging something in that's got a fault on, because there could be multiple faults. So I'm going to go around, plug everything back in, turn on, all, turn on all the appliances as if it was going to be powered on, and then see if we're still getting good readings. If we're still getting good readings, then we know that when it powers up and it's on for a while, it's going to be fine. So uh, let's do that. Alright, so that's your up down lights one. 0.95, 95 for down lights. The sockets one. <coughs> so they're like 50 candles lit, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, it smells lovely. Uh, they were greater than 100, and then last one. So everything's plugged in now, like microwaves, kettles, and we're not getting anything, not getting any bad readings really. So that is good. Yeah, we'll just do line to earth, you never know. Uh, on that one, and these, yeah, great, I remember so everything's perfect readings, let's do that one. Yeah, so literally the only bad um, cable in, in here, in this installation, I haven't checked this yet, but is, oh, is, is labelled down lights or doorbell, as it's written there. <laughs> okay, right, so we got, oh, that's that back working, so... One of the faults fixed. Doorbell or um, down lights. So we'll turn everything else off and apart from that one. Uh, everything should turn on and shouldn't trip. There we go. We're laughing. So uh, now what we need to do is go around and turn all the lights on. The ones that don't turn on, we need to investigate because they're the ones with the issue in. And there we go. Six minutes past twelve. Right, that's. It as, so as long, how long it takes to get it to that point then. So we've found that, fixed that, and identified where the circuit is. Just to give you an idea of how long things take generally. And I've had a chat with a client for maybe five minutes. So before that, I'm just gonna give the thing a tight note. Forgot to mention that on video. Right, and then so I'll just test it again. We're getting like 0.9 somewhere. Now, there's a whole garage section, and we don't know if it's, Apparently it's been disconnected, so we're just going to check that out and it'll eliminate that full section. So we're just going to bang it back in. It'll obviously power up until the fall basically just trips randomly. But we can see that there's 0.8 mega ohm difference between line to earth and neutral to earth. So there's something definitely wrong there, but it's like an intermittent fault. So obviously it might work and it could work for five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour a day and then trip. So we want to identify that. But for now, we're just going to bang it back in and uh, see what we can work with really. So, if the garage is still dead after everything's on, then we'll just eliminate that and we don't even have to look into that. So, it saves us quite a bit of time. There we go, dead all then. Everything's dead over in here. So, we can ignore this bit. So, our next little job then is just to, is just to split the circuit then. <clears throat> so, if we split it, we'll have a good half and a bad half. So, here, the junction box with all the outside lights. So what we're going to do is get the feed in, disconnect that, and we'll test on the feed out, see if the issue is there. 
If the issue's going out to the lights is fine, then we can ignore the lights. They must be all fine. And the problem is with internal. So hopefully it is these outside lights. So this is good news then. So it's tested to the earth and the line then over neutral. So something in that box is, when I've disconnected it, it's uh, caused these cables here to clear, which is brilliant. So let's go figure out what it is. I'm just gonna swap these out for some lever wagos to make it easier to work with. So we'll need a two, a two, it's an eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, and another five, and another two. There we go. So here we go, we've got the light switch off, <coughs> for out the side lights. I'm just going through these cables and then we'll test from this 0.92. So that's it, so we're connecting the rest and disconnect that live. That should be whatever that is disconnected. And we'll turn it back on and then see what's uh, changed or what's not working. We we'll raise the culprit then, so it's this cable here, you can see that one. So we'll just press test and we're getting 0.05 from line to earth and neutral to earth. And all this, we'll just test this out, but all this should be clear now. And we'll go back to the fuse board and if that's clear, we'll turn everything back on and see what is not working. Just back down in the basement. So let's get these leads attached on and I'm gonna find out if that is the culprit. So with that disconnected, because it could be like water in a light fitting, it's been quite rainy the past few days. Sometimes the seals go under light fittings and water just gets in. That's why I always put a drain hole in instead of making it whatever. You can dunk it. But anyway, let's test this. So earth to neutral. We got 26 meg. That is a brilliant number when you're wanting to get over two or one meg, and then 22 meg. Right, so what I'll do, we'll bang that in and see what isn't working. Look at that result then. So all the lights are back on then. Happy days, customers happy. So that cable apparently did some. Well, it, the switch that switched this cable, which then turned it on, did the floodlights on the. On the side that they hadn't used for years, it said. So it's been put in indoor cabling. So it's probably broken down over the years, gone crispy, and then finally it's shot. Well, it's causing the ICD to trip. So there we go. Hey, so full video of how we fault find. So yeah, when you're doing your fault finder, then you want to kind of go towards these circuits. We don't have to start ripping up floors and messing about. So we try and go for the easiest, less disruptive options first. Where in, it's never that. It always ends up being the that under a floor bar somewhere but with this case yeah it was worth it just to see a little junction box disconnect them see what was going on and see if not but if not we would have been going on to the next stage go to another part of the circuit split it see a good side see a bad side and so on and so on and so on so i'm really glad it was the first time <laughs> so yeah there was a fault here then so just came hanging out <laughs> nice and um yeah, the mains cable and yeah and then the dodgy Floodlights, that's it. So just to make sure again with those floodlights on in the on position, there we go, 16 mega ohm. That is a sight to be seen. And then, you know, that's line we'll do neutral to earth as well. But sure the same figure. There we go. 19, 21, 22, buzzing. And we're done. So it is 11 past one. So I was done for about five past. So it took me, well, what did it take me? 20 minutes to find what circuit it was. And then it took the rest of the time just disconnecting stuff. So, but yeah, everything's tested. That's me, light's gone out. <laughs> everything's tested out, all right. Uh, we'll carry on this video and uh, I can, yeah, I'll drive off this customer's drive. <laughs> Right then, so yeah, the house was all, it was all fancy, golden ornate, there was golden furniture everywhere, it was mental. Um, <coughs> all, the, all the lights were all like fancy crystal lights, were probably like five grand each or something. I didn't want to take them down and go upstairs with this like little trow thing going, <coughs> I like trying to bite my legs off. <laughs> so I didn't really want to be uh, taking up floorboards and all that, uh, like late at night, they've got neighbours next door. So yeah, big old Victorian house, massive rooms, it was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm so glad that the fault was on the lighting. So what we did then, let's talk about the full fault then. So we went to the job, customer said it's tripping. We found one fault with that little unit at the bottom. Obviously the full line cable hanging out, it, yeah, it's a bit sketchy. So we terminate that back in, turn it back on, that, that, that fixed. And then what, what did we do then? 
we then looked into the fault on the lighting. Well, we didn't know it was lighting, we just knew that the SD tripped. So what I had to do was turn off all the MCBs, turn off the RCD, and then what you can do is just test on the outgoing of the MCBs. Um, and the neutrals, and if it's all clear and the neutral bar's clear, then everything's fine. Um, but, <coughs> but sometimes it doesn't like it, like if you're getting a bad reading, on everything, it's probably because the neutrals are like sending the vault that the fault down the through the neutral bar because everything's connected. So, what you have to do is take the neutral out for that circuit, test it, test the neutral to earth, fine. So, you're doing insulation resistance 100 volts, 200 volts, whatever. Then, you should be getting greater than a, um, a meg essentially. So, it's greater than a meg on line to earth and neutral to earth, and you move on to your next circuit, bang that back in. Next one, pull it out. Back if it's free, put it back in, and so on and so on. And you'll basically that's what we did. And we ended up with the lighting circuit, which was bad. It was called doorbell, but it wasn't doorbell, it was just lighting. So we pulled it out, and then we thought, right, we don't want to dive into like all these fancy lights. We want to basically uh, try the outside lights. So it's most likely going to be the something external. Then it's easier and I saw a junction box, so I thought I'd take my opportunity. So they said went up on the ladders, I was getting attacked by little moths and other flies because it's dark, I got a torch on, they're all attracted to it. <laughs> so, right, so we um undid the junction box, pulled out one like uh, spread them all out, and then one of the cables was bad, disconnected that, it turned out to be the cables to the floodlights, and then we put it all back together and tested it again, pulled pulled it out of the fuse board, tested it, insulation resistance, line to earth, neutral to earth. Lines worth neutral earth for everything else and everything worked well over two meg. Happy days, happy customer. If you enjoyed this kind of content, or if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so we know when we next upload. So always have a good one from me and I'll see you on the next one. Bedtime. I'm in New York tomorrow doing a soup shop. I will do a video on this. It's probably be the next video out because Josh kind of does them in order unless I tell him to change it up. I've got something important to announce. But yeah, it'll be a cool suit shop in New York. And uh, oh, camera. yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Look forward to it. Just gotta get there, uh, back up on the precincts, get everything, get everything out with like CCTV done to put up fancy lighting. Oh, there's all sorts to be done to see there whilst down, but anyway tomorrow, I'm gonna to get some sleep in a minute.